nation with all of us. At this time, I'd like to invite up Father John Tulumzis for a brief comment. Father John is the president of the Archdiocese National Presbyterian Council, and he has a word of thanks for us. And Your Eminence Archbishop Demetrius, Your Eminences, brother, clergy, and presbyteras, beloved friends, Mr. George Sandikos, Ms. Paulette Poulos, and all the leaders and members of the Archbishop Yakovos Leadership 100 Endowment Fund. It's a tremendous honor and joy to bring to you today as president of the Archdiocese and Presbyters Council the most sincere thanks and deep respect of all the clergy and presbyteras and our families throughout the Holy Archdiocese. Those thanks could easily focus on the substantial financial support you have provided since the founding of Leadership 100 33 years ago, or they could be about the ministries, scholarships, and programs you have founded, funded, or grown. And that would be appropriate, and it would be accurate. Your love has transformed the church here in America. Today, however, as simply a priest of a parish in this archdiocese, speaking on behalf of my brother clergy, I'd like to thank you for something far greater. Thank you for transforming our lives and empowering our ministries every day, everywhere we serve, and in all we do. Please allow me to take a moment to share how that happens. When we as priests stand in front of the holy altar to serve the divine liturgy and to bring to you the holy gifts of the body and blood of Christ, we do so educated and prepared by our beloved Hellenic College and Holy Cross, which you support. When we prepare our weekly parish bulletin, we do so using the Bulletin Builder program that you helped create. When we write our sermons to feed our flocks, we do so better skilled by the continuing education programs that you have funded. When we respond to the call of the gospel to preach the good news to all nations and to head out on missions and disaster relief trips, we do so directed by the OCMC, IOCC, Project Mexico, and the ministries that you have helped underwrite. And perhaps most importantly, when we need to refresh, renew, and recharge our ministries, our marriages, and our own personal lives, we find what we need in the understanding and the encouragement of our brothers at the biennial APC National Clergy Retreat, whose growth and increased effectiveness have been made possible by your most generous offerings of love. In other words, in the daily life of a priest in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America, there is barely a function, a ministry, or a responsibility that has not been provided, enhanced, or encouraged, and otherwise blessed by the love and support of Leadership 100. You have blessed us so that we can continue to bring the blessings of Christ to you. Lest this come across as an overzealous offering of praise, please allow me just a moment to share a very personal encounter that affirms everything that I just said. And George referred to it in one of those pie charts about the considerations of leaving the ministry. Following the 2011 APC National Clergy Retreat, the first one that leadership substantially assisted with, I received a call from a priest of one of our parishes in the Archdiocese who said, before I came to this retreat, I had made up my mind that I was going to leave my ministry and my marriage. I returned determined not to give up. This retreat has saved them both. To this day, my brothers and sisters, that beloved priest is still in his parish, 
providing priestly prayers, pastoral guidance, and paternal love to parishioners, families, and children such as yours. It could have ended very differently. And we all know the painful witness and the great cost to the church when a brother falls. We as clergy are determined to support one another to avoid such tragedies, and we are eternally grateful to you for your support in that cause. Your love multiplies our strength. In conclusion, the Archdiocese and Presbyter's Council and every clergyman and presbytera of the Archdiocese, including the very priest by whose hand your children are nourished and from whose chalice you receive the body and blood of Christ in the Divine Liturgy, are inexpressibly grateful for what you have done and continue to do f to change our lives so that we can be instruments of Christ to change yours. Those rewards are great on earth. May yours be great both here and in the kingdom of God. Axi, God bless you. We love you. Thank you.